Hello and uh, thank you for coming at this event. I just came from Constanza Naval Base where together with my colleagues we are preparing the launch of the Hello rocket, the first launch in the Google Lunar X Prize competition and the first Romanian space rocket. Our project started in, back in 1999 as a student initiative at the Aerospace University in Bucharest. And of course we had no money at the beginning, so we had to start with our own money. Um, the Europeans are not dreaming anymore, so which is the case also for the Romanians. And to go to a sponsor and to, to tell him, I want to build a rocket, this is completely insane. <laughs> so we invested our own money and we succeeded to build some piece of hardware and then step by step we succeeded to convince some of the sponsors to join our efforts. And in 2003, we succeeded to join the Ansari X Prize competition, and in this competition, we also succeeded to launch our first rocket, which is the first rocket equipped with the um, rocket engine completely usable, made of composite materials. And uh, this rocket was launched in 2004 on the, the Media Base Air Force, and I want to share with you the images from uh, 2004. This is the test of the engine on the ground. The engine is made completely of complex <laughs> materials. And here we are in the um, uh, media to K Air Force Base. We are transporting the equipment together with my colleagues. Uh, see that past almost 10 years. This is the launch pad of the vehicle. I have to tell you that we built everything you, you see in these pictures, in these images. This image was uh, taken from three kilometers away from the launch pad uh, because it was a restriction by the Air Force and we had 94 journalists from four countries that broadcasted live the event. It was the biggest media coverage for a scientific event in Romania. This is the launch of by um, Air Force equipment. After this milestone, important milestone, we went forward to the construction of the Stabilon spacecraft, which was designed to be able to safely transport in space um, a pilot in suborbital flight. And uh, for this, we used a solar balloon as a first stage of the system. So basically, the rocket is transported in stratosphere with the help of the solar balloon. And from there, the rocket is uh, ignited and ignited and uh, will reach space. Uh, so the first flight of this system took place in uh, 2006 at Onesh, and the uh, vehicle flew to an altitude of 50 kilometers above the Earth's atmosphere. So please let's see the film. This is the world largest solar balloon and was also built by our team. All our actions were coordinated with the Air Force for this flight and civil aviation. And what you see is the capsule of the spacecraft not the whole system. What you see down 
there is a radar, radar deflector uh, that was mounted in order to Air Force to be able to monitor the flight. And also, we had electronic equipment, satellite transmitting uh, that sent that was, that sent the data back to us, and in this way, we were able to track the vehicle all the time. And also, we took this image, beautiful image from the stratosphere. After this flight, we wanted to go forward to test the complete vehicle and uh, we launched mission 2, uh, this time from, uh, once again we returned to the um, Media Cape Air Force Base and um, we launched a complete vehicle with the help of uh, the Navy, of Air Force and Romanian Aviation. Please, let's see. Privately founded, completely privately founded, no government, no, no government, uh, the government is not involved in this. The launch of such a balloon is extremely complex because uh, you'll have to have wind not exceeding 4 meters per second and also the sky to be clear to have the sun in order to hit the angle of the solar balloon and that was the recovery ship and that was a radio beacon from the University of Suchawa which we were more than happy to transport them for free
perfecte. For all my colleagues. And uh, we had, uh, so you see, we have the rocket, we have the solar balloon that we'll use as the first stage for the launch. And uh, in 2008, uh, Google Corporation, together with uh, XPRIZE Foundation, launched the Google Lunar XPRIZE competition, a $30 million competition uh, awarded to the first team that brought privately founded succeed to send a, a robot to the moon and travel 500 meters and send <laughs> HD images and uh, taking into account the, um, who is the sponsor of this competition to send the first email from the moon. <laughs> and uh, we said, okay, we have the technology and we want to be a part of, uh, of this competition. And we joined the competition in um, 2000 and at the beginning of uh, 2008. And what we are doing right now Mike, uh, is we want to launch the first rocket in the Google Lunar Prize competition and also to launch the first Romanian space rocket. And my colleagues are the, at the naval, naval base in Constanza. They are discussing in detail the procedures with the Navy, with the Air Force, and with the Romanian aviation. And we are waiting for the good weather, and the event will take place, let's hope, uh, next week. And uh, I want to show you the computer simulation of uh, this flight, and you will see pretty much the same thing that will happen next week. In this video you will see only one ship, in fact there will be five navies ship that will help to launch the balloon. The balloon will be inflated directly on water rocket stages will be also uh, put on water and uh, it's, it is for the first time in the world when some, someone is doing this to inflate the balloon on the water surface and also to launch the rocket from the, from the water. without using aerodynamical uh, surfaces or uh, jet controlling. Thank you. 